Welcome back, Tigers. In this video, we're going to explore how to report on the data generated by Einstein Conversation Insights. This video assumes you've completed the steps in our initial setup video, and if you didn't, you can find the link in the description below. We'll review the Conversation Insights Lightning Dashboard, Conversation Intelligence app, the objects used in Insights reporting, and how to create some interesting reports to see insights and keywords mentioned in your team's video calls. Let's go check out how to set up some advanced reporting for our users. All right, the first place that we're gonna go to is our Conversation Insights tab. And then we'll go to Analytics. And so these analytics will run and get updated after the data flow runs. We'll show you in a future video how that all works behind the scenes. So users can filter for specific reps, managers. They can look at specific call dates, durations. They can isolate video calls from voice calls. And then you can also see all of the mentions down here. So these are all of your insights that you have configured, your custom ones. And then we can go to view all mentions and then we can see a deeper dive into that. We can see how many times they're mentioned, over what time period. We can go to coaching and then we can see all of the calls that have been coached. So we can see this one video call has one comment. We can also see the mentions over here in the side. We can filter for those as well. We can identify calls that don't or do have related records. So Salesforce will automatically update the related record. We have seen some challenges where the related record doesn't get updated to the opportunity. So if this happens, then in reporting, even if you update the video call to be related to the correct opportunity, you won't see insights in the report. So that is a known issue from Salesforce. We'll provide the link in the description below so that you can be aware of that. And then we can also go into the video calls list view from here, as well as the voice call list view from here. Now you also have a link to the ECI reports. These are all of the reports that come with Einstein Conversation Insights as soon as you enable it. And then these are the reports that are driving the Einstein Conversation Insights dashboard. We'll go ahead and refresh this. Now keep in mind this dashboard is showing both your video calls as well as your voice calls. The average talk to listen is just based on voice calls. So we don't have any of those in this org. So that's why that's not showing any data. Then we have who is receiving coaching. So Lila has received coaching and we do see two comments here, but we only saw one in the other CRM analytics dashboard. And that's because the data flow has not run yet. Then we can see important calls without comments. These are all the video calls that don't have any comments from a manager just yet. And then here's the video calls with participants. So we can see there were five different calls for Anderson. Now, if you're like me, I don't usually like the reports that come automatically with Salesforce and I wanna understand how to create my own reports. So there are several different report types that get turned on whenever you turn on Einstein Conversation Insights. So we're gonna come into the back here. We're gonna go into report types. I'm gonna sort this by created date because that's gonna help me find all of the report types that were turned on when I turned on Einstein Conversation Insights. So you can see here all of these from this one counts with activities all the way up to video calls with or without coaching activities are report types that were created for you. We are going to learn in a little bit how to use some of these different report types, but I wanted you to be aware where you can find all the ones that were automatically turned on for you. Now we're gonna create a new report and we're gonna be using the Opties with Unified Activities, Insights, and Keywords, because I think this one is a pretty interesting report to create. So we'll come back over to our Reports tab and we'll click New Report. We'll choose this report type. I'm gonna add a bunch of columns here, jam out to some tunes while I do this.
Then we're going to group by opportunity name. And we're going to update this to show all opportunities, all time. You can filter for whatever you want. I just don't have that much data in my org to be able to look at this. I'm going to save and run this. All right, so this report is showing us an aggregate by opportunity, the number of times a keyword occurred by insight. So our insight type is going to be either our custom insight or our automatic insight. And these are the names of your insights and then the keyword that was spoken within the video call. This is a good example. We see the insight type is showing four times because we have four different keywords that showed up in this call. So we can actually group by this as well. It might make it a little bit easier to look at. Let's get rid of the subtotals as well. So we can see that that insight had four keywords. This insight had one keyword. So that's how this report is working. It's showing you opportunities with insights with the related keywords and then see the number of occurrences. And then the number of occurrences is the number of times this specific keyword happened. And then the aggregate keyword occurrences is the total number of times all keywords for this insight was spoken. So that's why you're seeing 10 here because it is adding up four plus one plus one plus four. That's why you see 10 re repeated over and over again there. Then we can see the name of the video call. And then we can also pull in data from our opportunity, which is pretty cool so that you can group this by different fields on your opportunity, identifying what insights are used more, maybe on your new business versus your existing business opportunities. Now the next report we're going to create is opportunities with video and with insights. So let's go ahead and go back to our reports tab. We're going to click new report and we're going to use the report type. So this is opportunities with videos with insights. Now I'm going to add some columns here as well and group by opportunity name. change my filters here. Now this report is just showing you the opportunities with the video calls with the insight types. So this is just a higher level without the keyword information. You can group this by video call name if you wanted to as well. Uh, you can see the intelligence score coming in here that I was talking about in a previous video. I haven't seen anything higher than 21, but I also don't have competitor or product insights coming into these reports. So we may see a higher value in some of those. But this is just a different report if you didn't want the keywords. Now, one thing I don't like about this report is the call duration is in seconds. And I would want to create a custom field that will allow me to see the call duration in minutes. So you can create custom fields on the video call object, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and go to setup. We'll go to the video call object. We'll create a new field. This is going to be a formula. We'll call this call duration in minutes. And this is going to be a number with two decimal places. And then our formula is going to be our call duration divided by 60. And our help text will be call duration in seconds divided by 60. Now we will not be able to add this new field that we just created to this report because this report type is not using the video call object. It's using the unified video call object. So in this next report type that we're going to create, we will be able to use this new field. We're going to go to report types and we're going to create a new custom report type. This is going to be using the video call object. And this is going to be called video calls with or without video participants. And this is a report that we're going to use to be able to see a video call in all the related participants, whether they're a lead, a contact or a user. 
and then we're going to select video call participants here and then we will say a records may or may not have b records and we'll click save there then we're going to create a new report we'll choose video calls with or without video call participants and then we're going to add a whole bunch of columns here And I'm going to group by video call ID because it is possible for some of your video calls to have the same name, especially if you have a recurring call that's happening with your customers. And I'm going to change this to be all video calls. And then I'll change this to be all time. And then we'll save and run this. Now you can see that this is showing all the participants and you can see that this is a call that we had in a previous video in our initial setup video where I told you that video call participants will still be duplicated even if we clean up the video call record and we're going to show you how to create a flow that's going to delete these duplicates for you so that they don't show up in reporting. The reason this is happening is because Janet Thompson tried to join the same Google Meet multiple times and was having trouble joining and Salesforce logs them as a video participant each time they join the call. So this is a really great report that shows you all the participants and allows you to count them. And then you can see the names of your contacts, your users, and your leads all in one report. Now let's say that you needed to include some fields from your lead or contact or even account records in this report. You can go over to your report type and modify it. And then we're going to go to look up fields. And we're going to look at fields related to our video call participants. And in this example, let's say that I wanted all of the fields from my contact object. So I'm going to click contact and then I'll click select all. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom here and I'll click apply. And then I'm going to say I want it in a new section. And we're going to call this contact fields and click apply. And then you can repeat the same process for the account fields of the contact. So you would go to video call participants, you would go to contact, and then you would go to the account. Oh, I missed it right at the top. And then you click select all, and then you'll click apply. And you can say you want this in a new section. And this is the contacts account fields. And you can repeat the same process for your user and for your lead objects if you needed fields from those objects as well. So we can click save there and then we'd be able to come over to our report and we'd be able to add any of the fields from our contact or account records. So here we can see all of our contact fields and then we can see all of our contacts account fields. So that's a pretty cool feature. Well, that's everything we wanted to show you around reporting and analytics. As you can see, there's tons of different options for you to get some really good information out of your Einstein Conversation Insights product. That's it, that's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss our next video that will show you how to manage the settings for the Conversation Intelligence Call Insights data flow. This data flow runs in CRM analytics every eight hours to update different data points and reports for Einstein Conversation Insights. You will learn how to manually run the data flow, adjust its schedule, and how to sign up for notifications in case it encounters an error or a warning. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a video on a different Salesforce topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.